What's up, family? We have some breaking news to share with you regarding the former president, Donald Trump. This news is going to frighten a lot of people for different reasons, obviously. Whether you are a Trump fan or if you actually hate Trump, this information is going to freak you out just as much as it did to me. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Guys, those documents that were found at Miralago, as well as Pence estate, as well as Biden's estate, Yes, guys, it is not over. Apparently, investigators are now questioning uh, some attorneys for the former president, Donald Trump, in regards to some new latest classified documents that were found as well. I believe that the investigators ended up asking the attorneys for the former president, Donald Trump, to check again to make sure that you go ahead and look again at the Miralago estate as well as his other uh, particular locations to see and make sure that there are exactly no more more classified documents being found. The Trump attorneys ended up looking again and um, shockingly, they were finding more documents that were considered to be classified in which now investigators are seeking to question the attorneys about this new information. And it says right here that attorneys are asking about these uh, new documents in a phone call that they had with Donald Trump in regards to the classified probes documents. And yes, the special counsel Jack Smith is pushing to question an attorney for the former president about the alleged phone call for the two that they held as investigators were building evidence about Trump's potential obstruction of the government's efforts to retrieve classified materials. But again, Smith in recent weeks has pressed for a federal judge in Washington, D.C. to pierce attorney-client privilege and force Trump attorney Evan Corcoran to testify, according to those particular sources. Again, they don't have any information as of yet, but they did find more classified documents in regards to this latest probe that has been going on for quite some time. Now, whether or not this particular investigation continues to go on and uh, Smith continues to try to research this information to figure out whether or not he actually has a case and exactly what he is going to do about it. Now, we'll say they did end up asking uh, Donald Trump if he wanted to come in and testify, in which Donald Trump pretty much said, no, why would I come in and testify? If you guys are going to do something, go ahead and do it. But I will not be coming to speak to anyone in person or to testify. And so, guys, the drama continues. But in a latest round of information that came out this weekend and pretty much on Saturday, to be exact, the former president, Donald Trump, went to his Truth Social media account and he posted a message and says that he expects to be arrested next week on Tuesday as law enforcement continues to prepare for a possible indictment. Now, guys, that's pretty much all he said on the Truth Social account in which he must have some type of information in regards to this particular arrest that is planning on happening next week or this week on Tuesday. And yes, guys, this is very frightening. This is going to frighten a ton of people, millions of people out there. Guys, if you don't recall, it's around 70 million people or more ended up voting for President Trump during the first session and pretty much voted for him in the second session as well. So there are going to be millions of people that are going to be frightened by this information. However, there's also going to be millions of people that are going to be excited about this information. So depending on what side you actually lean on, it is going to frighten millions and millions of people out there if this actually goes down. Now, again, the former president, Donald Trump, said on Saturday that he expects to be arrested in connection with the years-long investigation into the hush money scheme involving the adult film actress Stormy Daniels and called on his supporters to protest because of this. Yes, guys, he said this on True Social that he wants his people, his people to go ahead and protest right now because this is ludicrous. You cannot arrest or indict a former president, according to the former president, Donald Trump. And again, Trump referring to himself said that the leading Republican candidate and the former president of the United States will be arrested on Tuesday of next week, though he did not say why he expects to be arrested. Now, 
His team said after Trump's post that it had not received any notification from prosecutors as of yet. Uh, CNN's John Miller reported Friday that meetings have been going on throughout the entire week among city, state, and federal law enforcement agencies in New York City about the security preparations for a possible indictment of the former president, Donald Trump. So apparently they have been preparing for this to actually happen, which is very startling. We really haven't heard anything about the hush money in quite some time, but apparently this particular story, this particular investigation continues to go on, which me personally, I don't understand it because it was not that much money. But then again, uh, if he did use some campaign money to actually pay the particular uh, Stormy Daniels off in this particular matter, then I guess it can get a little bit dicey right there. But I believe that there have been way more horrible issues that have been going on in this country over the past two to four years or so that deserve more attention than this particular hush money of Stormy Daniels, considering that Stormy Daniels said that she was willing to whatever with Trump. And then Trump said that he was willing to do whatever with Stormy Daniels. And then they had to go ahead and pay this large amount of money. I believe it was $160,000 in the form of what they're calling hush hush money. So again, Donald Trump stated that he is possibly going to be arrested this Tuesday. This is very scary, guys. What is the country going to do? We just saw exactly what happened uh, during that riot on January the 6th once the president was not uh, committed to be the next president. So uh, no telling what is going to happen if the former president, Donald Trump, actually gets arrested on Tuesday or indicted, guys. So uh, this is going to be very interesting, guys. We are in for a very impactful week. Uh, I will keep you guys posted as usual. But uh, right here it says that what we know about Trump possibly facing criminal indictment in New York City. Uh, well, the former president, Donald Trump, has been invited to testify before New York City's grand jury, which I will say that he denied that he wanted to participate in that. So uh, they would just have to proceed as usual. But this was an offer to speak in front of a grand jury is typically the last step before criminal indictment is actually pressed down. So uh, state law mandates that potential defendants must be given an opportunity to appear in a grand jury or before a grand jury to answer questions before they are indicted. So that could be exactly where this information from Trump uh, came from on Saturday. So uh, any indictment is expected to be weeks away, but such an action would be extraordinarily. Trump would become the first former president in U.S. history to be indicted. So anyways, guys, like I said, this is going to be crazy information that could happen within the next 48 hours or so. And guys, uh, I will keep you guys posted. And then uh, we did hear from the House Speaker, which is McCarthy. He said that this is ludicrous and he actually ended up ordering a probe against the district attorney that is investigating Donald Trump at this particular time. So obviously, you know that he is standing with his former president as well, his right hand man. Anyways, guys, it's just said right here in this particular statement on MSNBC where McCarthy just made it clear that he's picked Trump over the rule of law. Now, I will say that uh, considering this hush money could be potentially illegal according to the rule of law, and that's where they are getting this particular information from right here. McCarthy is standing by his Trump over the rule of law. So this is exactly what the speaker said on Saturday morning in a tweet. And pretty much it was a threat against Manhattan's district attorney, but both distressing and unsurprising. So anyways, guys, uh, you guys remember the former attorney for Donald Trump, uh, Michael Cohen, which he was the one that actually gave the hush money to Stormy Daniels. Uh, well, he actually came out the same day on Saturday after this news broke about Trump being arrested sometime this week. And he said that he had one piece of advice for the attorneys right now that are representing Donald Trump, in which Michael Cohen hits possible Trump lawyers with one word of advice, it says right here. And that particular word of advice was simply run. Run as far as you can. You guys saw exactly what happened to Michael Cohen during that particular time when he was fighting for his boss as well as the president. And that led him to be able to go to jail for, I believe, 18 months or so. And so now uh, Michael Cohen is providing some advice for those current attorneys that are representing him. And he said, look, run as fast as you can and don't run to Florida and especially not Palm Beach, he said, referring to the location of Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort run someplace either east or west, but definitely don't get involved with Donald. That's what I would say. That is the advice that I would give the current attorneys 
for the former president, Donald Trump. And again, right here in this particular tweet, it says that the smartest thing a lawyer can do if Donald Trump asks to represent him in this nightmare that he is going to be living Run, run as fast as you can, says the former Trump lawyer, Michael Cohen. So anyways, guys, uh, this is actually expected to hear from Michael Cohen. Uh, we do recall the latest book that he did write sometime last year, which was basically called Revenge. And yes, guys, uh, it says right here that how Donald Trump weaponized the United States Department of Justice against his critics. And this is his revenge book basically going against the former president and his former boss as well. So obviously that particular statement uh, definitely represents exactly what Michael Cohen is standing for as of now. So anyways, guys, uh, in some other striking news, we did get a prediction from the current CEO of Tesla. Uh, you guys love that company or some of you hate that company. But anyway, guys, we are talking about Elon Musk in which uh, Elon Musk predicts that Donald Trump will win re-election by a landslide victory if he is arrested. Yes, guys, uh, this is coming at a very interesting time because we just said that we we're expecting Donald Trump to be arrested on Tuesday. And Elon Musk, the CEO of Twitter, the owner of Twitter and the CEO of Tesla, he predicted a landslide victory if Trump is put in handcuffs. So again, like I said, this information is going to frighten millions of Americans out there, depending on what side you are on, whether you are a fan of him. If he is arrested, you are going to be totally upset. And if you are not a fan of him, you are still going to be frightened by this arrestment or this indictment if it comes down sometime on Tuesday. So again, guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you think about this new revelation in regards to the former president finally being arrested. I know a lot of people have been calling for this for over two to five years or so, and here it could come to fruition. So let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section, guys. I'm curious to see how you feel about this. I will keep you posted as usual. But anyways, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all we have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below because it is a few ways for you to be able to support this channel, as well as some opportunities for you to receive things like 12 free stocks from Webull that could be worth up to $3,000. All you have to do is sign up for a new account and deposit at least $1 and you could be eligible. Also, you can sign up and get the Amazon Prime membership for free for 30 days, but those are just a few. If you are interested, check out the links down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content, and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe to the channel it's totally free and if you like today's video then go ahead and hit the like button for us it really helps out this channel as well as it tells youtube to share this video with others but anyways hey i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and i hope to see you on the next video peace